on this burnout extra we're going to talk about my dad's 1969 lincoln continental this is an episode two of the burnout show so i highly recommend checking that out if you haven't seen it already but um this story is pretty much about how we got a title for it so that car had been sitting out the front of my dad's lawn forever and ever long before i was born it's probably going on 30 years now but uh, i didn't have a title and i didn't find that out until tarpy and i were actually going to work on it and my dad was like, by the way, you can't do anything paperwork wise with the car simply because we d he didn't own the title on paper. He didn't legally own this car, even though he had it for 30 years. So by an illegal way of somehow getting the information of the previous owner, um, we actually obtained that address. This gentleman's name is Wayne Smith. Um, and me and Tarpy once again, obtained that address. And we were like, we have no other option except to show up at his address that we have and pretty much ask if he will sign a duplicate title um, of the car he previously owned. And so we offered to pay for it. Like we had all the paperwork ready. Um, we just needed the title. Um, and I remember Tarpy's dad took us down there actually. This guy lived a couple towns over and there was like a family gathering. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were having like a family party and there were a bunch of kids in the house. <laughs> so yeah, we were, <laughs> we were pulling up to this guy's house and we were like, that's the right house. And, yep. and there's like cars out front and everything. <laughs> and so yeah. we knocked on the door and like, I don't know about you, but dude, my heart was racing. I, was I like, no, I was pretty, I was pretty scared. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this dude could be some old grungy dude and he's just going to come out and be like, oh, the fuck are you get yeah. out of here? <laughs> no, he was super cool. I thought he wouldn't remember the car. Like yeah. I thought we'd be like, dude, you owned this. And he'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So yeah. So we <laughs> knocked on his door and he answered and I was like, oh, sorry, sir. We're looking for uh, Wayne Smith. And he goes, oh, that's, that's me. me. And this guy, like, like very cool. Um, not super old, but I'd say like fifties gentleman, maybe sixties. Yeah. Uh, long he had, ponytail. He had grandkids. Yeah. So he must've been like sixties, but yeah, he had a ponytail <laughs> going on and it was pretty good. But the moment, so he was obviously caught off guard that we were there, but yeah. the moment I think I mentioned the Lincoln and that I was the owner, he was like taken back. He's like, wow, yeah. like the car still exists, yep. you know? <laughs> he kind of perked up a little bit, you know, just flashing back to the days of riding around in that awesome car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we um, presented the paperwork in front of him and we were like, explain the situation. We were like, by the way, we just need a duplicate title and the last thing we need is your signature. And so he was totally down. He was like, yeah, like, absolutely, I'll do that. And he's, he's like, if you ever get it running, like, bring it by. I'd love to see it. And then I don't know. I don't know if I'm telling the story exactly how it happened. But um, he started telling stories about when he owned the yeah, car. Yeah. Do you remember? He was yeah. like, yeah, I drove it over a fire hydrant. No, his brother drove <laughs> it over a fire yeah. hydrant. And <laughs> after that, so my dad never told me that. But after I came back the next day or later on that day, and my dad was like, yeah, like, when I got it, I'll, the underneath was garbage. I needed new bumpers. He's like, I bought all new bumpers. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. Like I needed all that new because somebody had apparently driven <laughs> it was it over a fire hydrant. Absolutely hydrate. messed up. Uh, but yeah, no. So one of the details, the reason that we weren't able to get a title like easily and we had to do some little tricky back way uh, things to find out who owned the car was because his dad bought the Lincoln from a gas station so like Wayne had sold it to a gas station right down the street and and uh, then Jay's dad bought the car from the gas station. So like Wayne and Jay's dad never met at any point, which is why the whole process became a lot more tricky. Yeah, and I could be wrong, but I believe when it was last inspected at that specific year, you didn't need a title to register a car. You just could run off the VIN. So uh, my dad was kind of, he drove it for about a year, but... He was under the impression of like, yeah, like I never needed it at the time. And then he parked it for 30 years. So why would he ever need the title? Um, but yeah, like, like Tarpy just said, that's, that's absolutely true. But the smile on his face to, to see that the car still existed <laughs> was cool. Yeah. And unfortunately we were never able to bring it back to him. Not yet. <laughs> still maybe. alive. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe someday though. Maybe someday. But yeah, this gentleman named Wayne is a very cool guy. Um, yeah, very, very nice to us, even despite knocking on his door kind of <laughs> midday and rainy yeah. day. But we actually, um, we did, uh, my dad sent him a letter uh, to try and reach out first before we took the effort of driving all the way down there. But he made the mistake 
of sending it in his business letter. So he he run he owns a business, Tarpy Insurance, and so he sent it in a Tarpy Insurance envelope, which is a huge mistake because yeah. anybody who gets a Tarpy Insurance envelope out of the blue without knowing the company is just gonna think it's spam and throw it out. So that's probably what happened, and uh, then we were forced to drive all the way down there. I don't remember where it was actually. It was in a couple towns over. Yeah. It was in Woburn, Mass. Oh, it was in Woburn. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 But yeah, it was cool. And like, like I said, the guy, I, you probably have different interactions with different people and anyone has a different situation. Right. But like when you have that feel good story of someone who's genuinely willing to help you out because they, you share the same passion. Like the guy didn't love the Lincoln, but he liked cars. And mm -hmm. so, um, literally to knock on his door and have him be that cool about it was pretty unique. I think yeah. certainly one of the things that'll stick out about that car. You Absolutely. look at it and you're like, wow, I went, I met some guy named Wayne Smith who <laughs> gave me the paperwork. But yeah, Wayne, if you're watching this, <laughs> thanks for being cool, man. Yeah. And sorry, we didn't ever get to drive the car well, to because you. Because of you, it now has no floors and the engine's a little bit. It's all your fault. Not man. running at the moment. It's but. all your fault that it's sitting back out there rusting. Listen, if, if either Tarpy or I buy it or get it running, That'll be the first place we go. I think Absolutely. we're in agreement on that. Yeah. So. It'll be Lincoln episode part two, <laughs> road tripping it right over to Woburn Mass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it. You're the best, Wayne. Yeah. And that's our story of how we got the 69 Lincoln Continental title and paperwork that we needed. Mm-hmm.